Hey what is going on guys, it's Nixus Linksy here and I'm back again with another editing tutorial. A lot of you on my last video suggested that I do a tutorial on how I do my cinematics in Rocket League. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to record your cinematics using Bakesmod Dollycam. And I'll leave the link in the description to their Discord if you don't have it already. And also I'll be showing you at the end how to use Twixer and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Alright guys, so uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your replay in game once you have the uh, dolly cam installed. And the first thing that we're going to do is execute the plugin. So open your console using, uh, I'm pretty sure it's default set to the apostrophe key. Uh, and just type, just type EXEC for execute. And then dolly cam. Just hit enter and it'll come up saying that it's already loaded. And so basically you're only going to need to know a couple of commands. The rest of them are kind of more specific. But if you're just doing like normal cinematics and you don't need to do any complicated stuff, just use these ones. So first, first command we need to know is dolly cam, or dolly underscore activate. And the second one we need to know is dolly underscore deactivate. And then dolly underscore path underscore clear. They're the main three that we're going to be using through the whole tutorial. And I generally don't really stray off of those three. So if we're going to do two types of cinematics. We're going to do uh, one kind of like one movement cinematic that you can maybe put like 3d text and stuff into your scene and then we're gonna do like one cinematic like my uh my or lcs video where it's kind of like moving with the character moving with the player all right so to first start the cinematic we're gonna get into a nice position just a nice angle here maybe tilt the camera and stuff make sure you have your your dolly cam deactivated at this stage so once you've got a nice position the button to place a, place your first camera is the up arrow on the d-pad of an xbox controller or just the up arrow on a ps4 controller and you just press that and basically i'll go to 25 percent here and i'll just play a tiny bit more get into a new position press the up arrow again move again press the up arrow again and if you just try and keep the like the intervals between each keyframe kind of kind of similar timing, so it doesn't change the speeds and stuff. But I'm just gonna <coughs> keep placing these until I get into a good enough length. This is not going to be the best cinematic. You you can't expect to get it the first time when you're recording these. So now basically what I've done is I've I've gone. I made sure I went back in the timeline so that I'm back to the point before I started the first keyframe and now I'm just going to do dolly underscore activate so I've activated the the path now and then I just play it through and it'll play in the exact path that I did my cinematic in and then basically we just hit O to uh, Hit O to uh, to hide and enable the path. Just so want to turn it on and off like that. Just hit the key O on your keyboard. And also, uh, one thing I didn't mention uh, that I did there was also the the letter P on your keyboard uh, enables interpolate mode, which basically like smooths off all the points. It's like the average path in between all the points. So just make sure this is always smooth, because I mean, if you play this through. Without interpolate mode on, it's just going to do this. It's going to be all square. It's going to hit all the corners and keep moving the path. It's not nice at all. So you're going to have to make sure you hit P on it so that it goes off smoothly. Yeah, so that's that's the path made. All you have to do now is go ahead and record it with the path off. There you go. 
Alright guys, so the next type of cinematic that we're going to do is the one where it follows the car. You have the, you have a main character, a main player to follow, or so, sorry, an object to follow. Uh, I did this a lot in my RLCS edit that I did recently. So basically, we'll get into the position that we want. And first of all, so that we're not getting confused with our last path, we open the console again. And just, first of all, deactivate the, the path. And then also path underscore clear as well just to get rid of our path that we had before so now we have no path and we're back to the square one again so just get into the position you want just hit the up arrow again to place the camera now with this uh, particular cinematic you would basically place as many keyframes as possible so that, that the interpolate mode doesn't stray off too much you want to just make sure you're pressing them frequently you can even change FOV using your, your uh, clicking down on your thumbsticks and stuff like that, you know that. So, just keep following. You know, place as many as possible. You can even, like, just play it through and you don't even have to stop it. You're not going to get this right the first time. It's actually a lot harder to do these, do these types of cinematics than the first one. So you can see I have a load of points in there, and now I'm just going to go back to the start again before I placed the first keyframe, and we're going to dolly underscore activate. So now it should play through. See it's following the car fairly well, then I've switched off the car to go follow the ball. But yeah, basically the more the more points that you place when you're doing a cinematic, the more specific the movement is going to be. It's not going to be something very smooth, it's going to change directions and stuff, depending on where you've placed it. Yeah, now you just got to hit O again, and go back to the start and just record your clip. Now, I just want to go over one quick thing, just in case uh, your path messes up or you place a, a keyframe that you don't want to. Just see these numbers that are next to the red dots. This one is 8051 and this one's 8060. If I want to remove one of these frames, I would go into my console and I go dolly underscore snapshot underscore delete and then just simply type the type the, the number that corresponds to each red uh, each red dot. And I can delete them just like that. So that one and then if I want I can delete two, I can delete as many as I want. I see these ones are gone now and it's all the way back over here this is where my my cinematic will end so yeah guys that is it for the in-game stuff now we're gonna head over to after effects and i'll show you guys how to use quick and stuff like that. all right guys so now we are over in after effects and uh i said i would show you guys how i do twitter and stuff for cinematics so uh basically just go into your effects and presets and type in Twixer. I'm guessing you've had this, you have this installed already, and just drag it onto your clip. So there's only a couple values you need to change in here. Just make sure that the frame rate is on your source uh, frame rate, so minus 60, and put the motion sensitivity up to 100. Change the frame interp to nearest, and then just hit the stopwatch on the uh, speed and make sure you're on the first keyframe. Or if you're not, just make sure you drag this to the first keyframe of the cinematic so now just hit the, the next thing you got to do is hit the page down key on your keyboard so that it goes over one frame or just go into preview and go over one frame uh, and now just change the speed so we're gonna have like a nice flicking effect so I generally would start off with like an eight a speed of around 800 because I record in 25% speed so now we're gonna put 800 there and go to the very end of the the clip and just place another another keyframe like this and now go to the middle of the two keyframes and just put this on i'm gonna say 100 just because it's a long enough period so now uh drag over all these keyframes and just hit f9 that'll easy ease these keyframes so we get this nice smooth graph when we click on this graph editor over here so inside this graph editor we're going to want to get this nice u shape going so uh, just click on the first square up here and just grab this this uh, tool here and bring it all the way down like this. 
so you get that nice steep effect at, at the start. And just pull these ones out while hitting shift so it goes straight across, you can't move it anywhere else. And yeah, just make this U shape basically. Uh, yeah, and then you can go out of graph editor. And as we can see here, if we scroll to the end, it might be too far. Yeah, it cuts the cinematic cuts off here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these two keyframes here the start at the first 800 and the second 800, and then we're just gonna type something like 600 and it should should be fine yeah and just make sure you fix the graph when you're changing values because it will it will skew off the graph a bit so now just do the exact same thing on the other one so we'll grab our twixter all right guys so we have the two clips uh done out with Twixter so it goes fast here slow fast slow just to to sync up with the significant points in the song sorry so we'll just play this through and see how it looks so you can see it, it just fits a lot nicer with the song is the way it's it's just leading up to the beat. It gets slow here, it gets fast into slow again, and then as soon as it's about to start going to the song a bit more, it gets fast again. So yeah, if you're if you're gonna be doing cinematics and montages, this is like a must do in cinematics. You have to make the cinematics flow into each other just like this, otherwise it's gonna look a bit rough. But yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions regarding both the dolly cam part and the Twixter part, just let me know in the comments. And also, just let me know if you want me to do any more uh, other, like any other tutorials and any other things. Not not even just Rock League related, but just editing related in general. Maybe animations or something like that. Yeah. But uh, so if you enjoyed, just leave a like. And yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs>